The GGO International Challenge Cup begins now. The first match is Barefoot versus Samba. Barefoot is underprepared and is completely bowled over by Samba's technique. Samba's forward extreme faces off against Shadow, who is powerless against the technically superior extreme. Samba scores and leads 1-0 just two minutes into the first half. Touches the ball with his fingertips. The ball changes direction, but it's still an incredible shot despite the save. No! Oh. Whoa! The ball hits satellite, and it bounces into the goal. It's now 3-0. Talk about embarrassing. What? How did that happen? When a defense player is in the penalty area, he should stay close to the opponent's forward. It's dangerous for you to be so close to the goal. You've been playing winger. It's not your fault you don't know this. Timmy, what are you blabbering on about? You should have told me that earlier instead of letting Satellite make a fool of himself by messing that up! Stop arguing! If you two had practiced last night, your rapport in this match would have been better, and then we wouldn't have given up this goal! <laughs> What do you know? If you're so good, then go onto the field and score a goal. That wasn't such a hard shot, yet Shadow couldn't even save it. He even knocked the ball onto Satellite's feet. How could Satellite have reacted fast enough? You all think it's my fault. How can I keep playing now? <laughs> all right, fine. If you don't want to play, I'll substitute Swift for Satellite. Huh? What? Replace Satellite? Sean, are you really serious? If Carl is so reluctant to play, I'd rather have someone who truly focused on GGO football on the field. Fine then, in that case, just do it. But Sean, you know that Swift won't last the whole match if he goes on this early. This argument's gone too far. Whatever. So you feel the same way too, Isaac? <sighs> Since you have such nerve, I'll just wait and see how good you are. Just remember, Carl, you gave up on this opportunity by yourself. Referee, substitute request. Team Barefoot is substituting Swift to Satellite. You just made a mistake. Swift is funny. He greets everyone with a yawn when he steps on the field. Uh, hey, Cat, why are you still standing uh, there? You have to give Swift your command. Oh, all right. Swift, try to pass the ball to Miff. Miff doesn't have an opening. Don't pass to him. Oh, no. Swift passed the ball to Extreme. It's like he's in a trance. Barefoot substitute Swift is unbelievably bad. Not only did he yawn when he came on, he passed the ball to us. It's all the controller's fault. Because of conflicting orders, they confuse their own footballer. <laughs> Extreme takes the ball and gets past Titan! Oh no, he's coming! What should I do with this Brazilian? Can someone help me? Titan, go left! No right! No left! Oh wait! Oh man, I can't decide what to do! <laughs> Extreme and Synchronizer work together and easily get past Titan. Team Summer has completely cracked Team Barefoot's line of defense and Extreme is charging forward alone again. How will Shadow handle this? Will he go out and block it or stay in front of the goal? What will the shot be? If Shadow doesn't move forward, Extreme will have a wide open shot. Come on, make a decision now! Let's risk it! Shadow, move forward to block him, but remember, don't overdo it! And even if he loves the ball past you, you can still get back! Got it! This time, Shadow's keeping one foot on the ground while moving forward to block, so he can turn around quickly if I lob off the ball! Alright, Extreme, your signature move! Foot <laughs> stayed in front of the ball. He isn't lobbing it, he's passing it! Ha <laughs> ha! Lobster tail bicycle kick! Extreme's lobster tail bicycle kick! What a upset! Incredible! What? He 
Ah! This shot comes in an unbelievable arc over Shadow. This super bicycle kick fully exhibits Extreme's cool judgment. However, Shadow is incredible as well. That save must have been amazing on the spot thinking. How unpredictable. That miss is nothing special. The entire team barefoot is not much for Samba. I'm sorry, everyone. It's all my fault that we lost the ball. Cat, don't blame yourself too much. I'm responsible too. They haven't underestimated us at all. They came fully prepared. They're wearing us out and stopping us from reaching our potential. Relax, it's only the first half. Go and drink some water. We got this. Samba and Team Barefoot are at a stalemate. Faced with Team Barefoot's deliberate attempt to maintain the fence, Team Samba is in no hurry to attack. Only three more minutes uh, left. Just hold on! Swift! That's right, that's it! They're on full defense and slowing down the tempo of the match. They're trying to maintain defense until halftime. Their player Titan is the slowest and his footwork is the worst of all. Extreme, Synchronizer, Freezer, when Titan has the ball, all of you will forward to trap him. Neo tells Steel to get ready for a quick attack as they try to cover for it. Got it! Team Samba is attacking! We've been passing the ball too much. They've seen through us. Nucleus, Swift, help Titan! Myth, get back on defense! Team Samba is assessing the situation and now decides a counter attack at first chance! Swift and Nucleus have also moved back to hell! Let's see which side is faster! The ball is bounced high! Still runs to the ball! The unpredictable Team Samba still has a trick up its sleeve! This time they are breaking past Team Belfort's defense with a quick attack under cover! It turned into a running competition with Steel and Myth! Come on, Myth! Pick up the pace, he's beating you! Neil, tell Steel to go ahead and shake off Myth! Extreme, you'd better be ready! Do it, Steel! Samba Magic Pass! What a great dribbling that was. An interesting play as well. Even a world-class fullback would be fooled by that move. It's truly amazing. His fakes are just like what humans do in real life. Shadow, move forward to stop it. Please, I can't shoot so it makes a horizontal pass. Extreme prepares to shoot, but the line of football was in front of him is like a wall in front of the penalty area, blocking any opening. Extreme, use your signature move! Samba Banana Strike! Extreme uses Samba Banana Strike! Whoa! The ball comes over the wall like a banana, and it plays over towards the back corner of the goal! He scores! It's a goal! The referee blows the whistle at the same time! Team Samba leads by 5 0 the first half! Extreme is playing brilliantly, scoring four goals. Okay, everyone, we'll see you in the second half. Bye bye. Young sir, please, you must. See, I told you so. If Cat really was that good, she'd score one goal. Now look, you've lost two more goals to them. It's 5 nil now. You... But Myth and Nucleus' omnidirectional tackle and Roaring Flame Strike were all beautiful too. They almost went in. Those guys were only toying with you. They're world champions and they came prepared to play. What did you and Timmy do last night? We told you to practice and you wouldn't. <coughs> well, you practiced last night and you still lost all those goals. <sighs> At least Cat and Swift went out there and did their best. Uh -huh. I, I... You know, winning isn't everything, Carl. Even if we lose this match, we're all still a team. Ever since winning Nationals, you've been unbelievably proud and arrogant. Why does everything have to be an argument with you? Is this how real champions behave? 
You are the head controller. If you like losing, go ahead and carry on like that. I don't care about this match anymore. Timmy, let's go. I'll take you out for a hot dog. Mm-mm. I'm sorry, Carl, but I'm gonna keep playing the match. I can't abandon Team Barefoot just like that. <clears throat> Even if you won't go, I will. Uh-huh. Uh The second half has begun, the score is 5 to now. With such a huge gap, I think the result is a foregone conclusion. The second half is likely to be garbage time. The only thing to appreciate now is how Team Saba entertains Barefoot. Lord Football, you have such a vicious tongue. Not as vicious as yours. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's make it a good second half. Tim Barefoot doesn't seem discouraged at all, even though we're up 5-0. Isaac and Sean haven't disappointed me at all. We should forget about our score in the first half and play like it's still 0-0 zero zero on the second, eh? Right, right on. on! The second half starts! The attack Team Barefoot moves forward. Seems like they haven't given up. They're still launching an attack! Titan, it's on you! No matter what happens, you're a national champion, so give me some quality passing! Swift throw to the ball to the baseline. Now Steel is marking Myth closely. All right, Cat, come on, it's time. All right, Swift, do it. Steel, stay close and don't allow him to shoot. Steel matters Myth very closely. The ball is passed to Nucleus, who's unguided in the penalty area. <laughs> in front of the goal line. What a spectacular kick. Spectacular. We can't even score with an unattended goal. I thought for sure. This is nuts. I can't believe they kicked such a hard shot away so accurately. But let's not be discouraged. This proves that Team Barefoot has the capability to score against Team Samba. This first attempt proves to us that we will have a second and maybe even a third chance to shoot the ball. Right on! Immediate counter-offense has not only resolved the crisis, it's also a simple, direct long pass to the forward. Team Barefoot only has Titan in defense now. Timmy, tell Titan to be careful of his projectile bouncing strike. Shadow, watch out, he's preparing to shoot. Titan, don't just look at the ball. Get back and give distance between you and it. You're the only ones defending. Got it. Extreme is already in front of Titan. Titan moves back. I must commend the big old Titan this time. It seems he knows he's not as fast as the others, so he maintains his distance from extreme. Titan has installed. They're returning to defense. Extreme, shoot it now! Projectile bounce it! Shadow, move forward a little and try to save the ball before it hits the ground! <laughs> I can't believe he saw through my projectile bouncing strike so quickly. Barefoot are completely different than they were in the first half. Excellent. This match is finally heating up. Come on, Swift Boy, shake him off! Oh man, he can't even do that. Titan, hold on! You've got to tackle now! Come on, Myth, go! Nucleus, assist Myth with the attack!
Stupid vending machine! Now you're bullying me too? You took my money and now give me my soda! Come on, just give me my money back! I guess my hand just slipped. Hey, Sean, are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. We haven't lost the goal yet in the second half. Let's work harder. Stupid vending machine. So you won't work unless I hit you. Just typical. Still five to nil. Team Barefoot is a completely different team now and holding up against Team Sander on every front. If you look at the second half alone, the score is nil to nil. Team Barefoot is doing brilliantly. Go! Go, Sander, go! Go, Sander, go! Go, go, go! Hey guys, the crowd's changing! It sure is! Let's keep on cheering! Go, Barefoot, go! Go, Barefoot! I really want to know what Isaac and Sean said to inspire their team in the second half. But Swift seems to be out of gas. Looking at the team's information, it seems Swift is a fifth generation GGO footballer. This old bottle can't last long though. To have played up until now, <laughs> it's already more than his limit. Won't Team Barefoot be one footballer short? Oh, I'm sorry guys. Swift has done his best, but he's really out of power. Kit, don't be upset. You and Swift already did a very good job. Hmm. Titan, play with everything you have and prove to the whole world that you can stop any world-class sport. We all believe in you, Titan. Okay, we only have a minute left. Sean, I want to try using that new move. I think so, too. What new move is it? Huh? Oh, I understand. Myth and Titan are charging ahead. And so is their goalkeeper, Shadow. It seems to be a final... Four of you will fill in for Swift. I know we can make this work. Unity and creativity are barefoot strengths. Wow! I can't believe the climax of this match will be in the very final minute. Huh? Shadow's running into the penalty area at high speed. This seems to be premeditated. Shadow shoots! Up flies across the goal. Someone is rushing towards it. It's Team Barefoot Swift. Twist is also rushing towards the ball. Whoa! Wow! He tackled the ball and put it into the goal. But Swift hit Twister. The referee could call a foul. Oh, come on. Swift tackled the ball before he rammed it into Twister. How could it be a foul? The referee declares it a goal and blows the whistle to end the match. Team Saba wins 5-2-1. However, in the second half alone, Team Barefoot scored the only goal. Well, to be fair, Team Barefoot's performance in the second half is enough to be a real challenge to Team Samba. I never thought I'd be so happy when I lost. This is fantastic, just fantastic. Swift is amazing. He scored a goal even when he ran out of energy. Today's match has opened my eyes. This all proves that Barefoot is capable of challenging world-class teams. Yeah. And I believe that one day, we will challenge this world-class team again, and we're going to beat them. Oh no, my Swift! 
<sighs> Hello? Hi, Adam. What? We'll get right over there. What is it? Adam said that the Mr. Glantz is in the hospital. No! The magnetic core memory is an important component in the GGO footballer. It acts like the human heart and is responsible for the control and transmission of power to every part within the GGO footballer's body. When a GGO footballer concentrates its power in one area, it can display unprecedented power in that particular area. When the magnetic core memory is damaged, the efficiency of power transmission will be greatly affected and the footballer's performance will be impacted as well.